everybody and welcome to my channel. This is Leslie. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today is Monday, so it is time for another Mini Kit Monday episode and it is the second layout in March that I am sharing with you today. And I am going to be scrapping my beautiful girls with my beautiful other girl, <laughs> my um uh, my two girls cousin and um, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law's um, beautiful girl so they are the girls of the family so I am going to be scrapping them today and um, if you watched my reveal my kit reveal video and the video from last week I'm sort of focusing on the girls this month so um, the kit that I'm going to be using is uh, an eco park kit from um, it's called sisters and um, yeah, and I'm using some uh, simple stories papers as well and so on. So you see, I'm just cutting down my white piece of paper um, to 11 inch by 11 inch. And now I'm just cutting off the border strip from that Echo Park paper. And I really love the stripe of that paper. So I'm going to be using that paper as the background for my layout. I'm going to be, oh, not that paper. I'm going to use this paper, the chevron paper. Isn't that just gorgeous? It reminds me of a quilt. It's divine. So I'm going to be using that paper. Sorry, for a moment I thought I kept it to the to the stripy paper, but obviously didn't. So I am going to do a, um, a layout reveal next week or the week after that because I made tons of layouts with this kit I put together. And this has probably been my favorite kit that I've put together um, since I've started Mini Kit Monday. And uh, it's, I really enjoyed this. I mean, it's very girly, it's feminine, it's soft, it's floral, very springy colors. It's very um, happy. And um, I think I've enjoyed it quite a lot. So what you see there is I'm just pulling up the edges and I'm um, sort of distressing the edges of my white paper now yeah again I'm off camera I'm off screen there <laughs> but um, uh, I have sorted out my technical issue and this video was taken about two or two weeks ago so at that stage I hadn't sorted out my camera issue but I have now sorted it out <laughs> so at the time I'm making this voiceover I've sorted it out so I'm not going hopefully not going to be having any more technical issues and from now on I hope that my videos will be um, will be uh, without any technical glitches so at least I've got the footage for this for this layout I didn't lose any of the footage for this layout like I've been doing like I've been losing the footage for the other layouts so um so you see there I'm just going to be sticking that white piece of cardstock onto the chevron now I could have gutted the chevron I'm looking back now I'm like oh I should have gutted the chevron but I didn't but you know what I used probably about 90% of this kit I used and I'm so proud of myself because I've been hoarding this um, little collection pack from Echo Park um, called Sisters and I've been hoarding it for years now and I'm so proud that I used it finally I got it out of my little my rack and I used it and it's the layouts that I used it for just they all came out so beautifully so that piece of paper that I've got the floor of flowers on that's a piece of simple stories paper and it comes from a simple stories paper pad that has um, only floral papers in it so it's basically just a bunch of um, these two prints of each and it's just floral papers and uh, that's one of them that I'm going to be cutting up there I love that yellow that yellow and orange and um, I think it's going to look really well with the rest of the with the rest of the layout because there is some of that yellow and um, some of the pinks and greens in the in that chevron uh, background that I've got going there. So I'm going to fussy cut this. I'm going to skip ahead to where I've finished fussy cutting that. I'm not going to show you all of that fussy cutting because it's <laughs> it took a while. So I fussy cut that whole sheet, and um, you guys know fussy cutting is my jam. So, um, yeah, and I'm bringing back the, the, the layout now. And I had an idea of sort of 
putting my photo on the right hand side of the page now mostly I put photos on my on the left hand side of a page I don't know why I do that I just mostly do that so I try to spice it up a little bit this time and besides the 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 floral piece that I've got the that big embellishment that I've got there on the you know with the um, orange yellow flower that's the right hand side of that piece is is flat because it was um at the edge of the page so I had to put something there um, so the photo just worked perfectly it was the perfect um, size to cover up that flat bit of the of the um, flower so yes I'm just going to be arranging my little flowers there and the little leaves and everything and um, so if you are interested in joining a Facebook group of ladies that love to craft and that love to do scrapbooking make ready for an announcement that us mini kit lady mini kit Monday ladies are going to announce in a little bit um, we are planning to uh, start a Facebook group for mini kit Mondays and um, uh, we are planning on having competitions and um, giveaways and lovely things like that so watch the space <laughs> I'm sure it'll be it'll be great um, we've got a big announcement coming at the end of March so um, get all your fellow scrapbook ladies um, all your friends to to subscribe to all of our channels and then at the end of March we're going to open up the Facebook group and then you can start following us um, at the Facebook group and um, You'll be able to submit your layouts. You'll be able to interact with us, and um, that's I, I'm. I think that'll be quite, quite a nice um, platform and community of ladies that's going to be all scrapping together. So this photo is from our holiday over the Christmas um, time. Uh, we went to South Africa over Christmas, and this is the first Christmas we've been home in four years yes in four years so we haven't spent Christmas with family in four years so this was this was quite nice just to see some family and to you know take the kids to South Africa to let them see green because <laughs> there's not a lot of green in Dubai and if you see green it's 70 percent of the time it's fake so um you know I'm so we uh so we took the kids and we went to the kruger national park and oh, the day was just amazing that we were there we saw um most of the big five except a lion so we saw buffalo we saw um, a cheetah a leopard um, a rhinoceros which is amazing because those are endangered at the moment and they're critically endangered and it's very sad because the poachers poach the rhinos and they cut off their horns and they use them as medicine and it's proven that the horns they've got no medicinal value and it's just a cultural thing and it's it's quite sad so we actually saw a rhino and the last time I saw a rhino in the wild was exactly 10 years ago when I was was it 10 years ago was it 12 years it was 12 years ago when I was pregnant with Etienne and um, seeing a rhino in the wild just walking along <laughs> minding its own business it's quite something um it's quite it's quite a majestic animal so i'm sh i'm going to remember this this holiday for quite some time and um just spending time with family was so fantastic and uh yeah i don't know if we're going to go this year again for christmas um not sure <laughs> but we will try to we will try to make a plan um anyway so the those three girls on the photo are the girls of the family and um they are the the next generation of the burner girls so um all lovely and all beautiful girls so it's always wonderful to spend some time with family and to um, see family and um yeah so as you can see there i'm basically just using my wet glue to um, stick all of those little uh, bits of flowers and the fussy cut bits down I didn't do a lot of dimension on this page I didn't um, use a lot of dimensional foam or craft foam or um, 
um, anything like that. I did do on the little butterfly just to pop the wings up a little bit and then in the center of the butterfly I just popped some wet glue so that the center is flat flush with the paper and the wings are popped up with some little foam squares and um, I am going to be bringing in some of the little wood veneers that I pulled for this kit and um, I'm very proud to say that I use almost all of the wood veneers that I pulled for this kit. I used um, most of the, well, all actually, of the pearls and all of the little gems um, with the little sticky backs. I've used all of those. I basically, like I said at the beginning of the video, used about 90% of this kit. Um, I've got a couple of pieces of paper left, some scraps and all the flower, all the floral paper, however, I fussy cut. So there's basically nothing left of that. And um, yeah, so that is going to be it basically for my layout. Uh, there's an, I'm just going to be sticking some of the, those little um, gems and the pearls down. And um, so I will leave links down below as well to the other ladies. Um, please go ahead and check out uh, Kathy, Dolly, Daisy, Becky, Shannon and Tracy go ahead and check out all of their layouts um, for today I'm sure that their layouts are gorgeous I haven't really seen any of their layouts yet but um, it's always very inspirational to watch their videos and it's very inspirational to to just hear about their lives and it's such a it's such a nice thing to to be part of a, a, a community and a, you know a group of ladies that love scrapping and crafting as much as I do I don't know if 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 you ever get this that if you tell somebody you're into scrapbooking they sort of like huh <laughs> you know? they just don't get it people and I just want to sort of shake them and say but you don't understand it's addictive <laughs> it's like my little addiction so um yeah people don't get it hey I don't know if you if if you feel the same way and they don't get how we, you know, how I can take something like this as seriously as I do. Um, you know, I scrapbook every day. It's something that I love to do. If I don't make a page a day, I feel sort of like I haven't really done anything that day. Even if the day was really busy, I feel sort of lost <laughs> if I haven't created something on that specific day. So, um, oh, and especially if I go on holidays, it's quite, it's quite difficult because um, I don't, I mean, I can't fly my stuff all over the place with me. So, um, this is, uh, yeah, so I, I love my scrapbooking and, um, yeah, there's nothing much to say really. See, I used my little flat backed pearls there with that, that sort of like, they're all sticky backed and, um, those little, uh, pink button, uh, sticky backed buttons as well they're really cute i've got a gazillion of those as well so that was this was a very fun layout to make i think the fact that the floral those florals are so big and they it's such a bold statement and it's so out there i think i really like that and that's what i like of this layout so i'm bringing in some heidi swap uh, gold color shine as well just to add some little splatters around to give that little that that texture in the background and um, this is going to be it so I will leave a link down below uh, for you guys to go ahead and um, watch the other girls layouts as well and if you have not subscribed to their channels please consider subscribing to all of our channels and um, yeah and watch out for for our big announcements at the end of March and I'll see you again next week bye